Hey, what's up, Alistair Cunningham here. And listen, I say all the time you are a few months away from change. Literally, a few months away, 90 days, and you can get your first property deal. Now, a proven point of that is this lady right here. This is Ellen McDonald, everybody, and I started working with Ellen in January of 2022. Say hi, Ellen. Hi. Introduce yourself, come on, tell them who are you, who you are and what do you do? I, so my name's Ellen, I do service accommodation, so I rent to rent myself, and then I find them and stage them for investors. And what were you doing? Uh, many of you are gonna be familiar with Ellen's story, because I do speak about Ellen a lot, and I've got a lot of social media about Ellen, because she's been so goddamn amazing. Now, uh, what did you do uh, before we met? Uh, so I used to be a teacher, I taught out in Abu Dhabi. Right, you were teaching out in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Um, and you went out there because of the benefits of tax-free, uh, luxury lifestyle. Yeah, I went out there as a decent salary as a graduate teacher. I loved working with kids, so I wanted to do that. And I liked the idea of the hot weather, to be honest with you. Yeah, well, who doesn't, okay? Now, um, what brought you to me? So basically, I... I went out thinking I was going to have a really like luxury lifestyle and I realised very quickly it wasn't what I thought. Mm. Um, so I was trying to think of other ways to make money and originally I thought property, I needed so much money to get involved in it. Yeah. And then I saw some videos, I saw your book and I realised that I had different options mm. to make money so back you, home. Uh, you bought my original book, Whatever It Takes. Yeah, what true. did you think of that book? I just Apart from the spell and the stage, what did you think of that book? <laughs> it opened my eyes to how many ways there were to make money in property without just buying a house, getting a and, it, and here's the thing, she was reading my book thinking, if this guy can make all this money from property, even though it's full of spell and mistakes, I <laughs> definitely can. I did notice the spell and mistakes. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I did actually pay for two proofreaders to do that. They clearly can't proofread. <laughs> Anyway, all right, you read my book. Uh, we ended up, um, you know, getting getting involved and doing what we had to do together. You then joined my advanced training. You became yes. a, a very good member of the Business Academy. Yeah, that's right. And that meant in January, we were working on a much closer level, uh, including one-to-one -one mentoring. Um, and that meant you, on, you, went on, you went on a whole journey of developing through business and property. Yeah. What was the, uh, the key factor for you in making the decision to join my training? Because obviously there was an investment for that. So it was, I joined the Business Academy after Tell the World. Right, okay, yeah. so you come to Tell the World. Tell the World, for those that don't know, is my uh, personal development and speaking training program. Yeah, so that for me, it was, I had the property training, but I didn't believe in myself and I didn't kind of see where it could go. Yeah. So Tell the World just changed everything for me. It made me believe in myself. And I remember thinking, if I can make this much change in four days, what am I going to do? In 12 months? Yeah. There's actually images uh, right below of Ellen when she was at Tell the World. And let me tell you something, Ellen at Tell the World, uh, this was probably the first event we ever done together. Um, you were actually quite a negative person. Yeah, I was. Yeah. You used to always sit negative. there. Yeah. You used to always sit there with your, you used to always slouch. You were like <laughs> this all the time. Your head was always back and you're yeah. always hunched over. Swallowed and your eyes. posture was always, always <laughs> off. And um, to me, it's like you were a defeated woman. I don't know what it was, but there was something about about you that it, I, I saw you, and it's like you were a woman who'd been trying hard, and you just you, it's like you were you had this defeatist attitude. Yeah, I think I would just I didn't believe I didn't believe in me. That that was the main thing. I didn't believe in me, and I just anytime anything was said, I'd come up with why it wouldn't work mm -hmm. or an excuse. I'm and, sure there's many of you watching this right yeah. now that do that. And it just so yeah, I agree with you. The defeated part, I just didn't didn't see anything with it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I did. I saw a woman who was defeated, a woman who found a problem with every solution, Yeah. a woman who, no matter what I said you can do, you said, yeah, but, yeah. but. Every, every time you said something in my head, it'd be like, yeah, but it's not actually, like if you offered something, I'd be like, yeah, but he's not actually offering it, is he? Yeah, you. I'd say, hey, come and spend a day with me. And she goes, yeah, but that won't be with you, that'll be with somebody yeah. else. That's the thing, she'd always find a, like, I know you'd worked with all the training providers and, and they perhaps didn't fulfill what you expected. Yeah. Um, and, and you got that, 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 that bad experience that you're now sort of tying yourself in with, but what was it really like? Come on, you started working with me in January. Yeah. What, what was Just... it really like? Come on, day one, you started. So let's, let's, go, let's go quarter by quarter. Yeah. So January, February, March, right? You're now a Business Academy member. Yeah. 
Um, my business academy just launched, so there's there's very there's probably only 10, 15 members. Yeah, I think so. You're one of them 10, 15 members. You're getting the one-to-one -one mentoring. Uh, you're getting the support and the the, 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 the the coaching calls every single week. Yeah. What was that first three months like? The first, because <coughs> I had a bad start to January. Yeah, you did. But I remember... Do you want to explain why you had a bad start? So um, my granddad passed away in January. Yeah. And, and it hit me because I'd just done Tell the World mm -hmm. and I felt like you put me on such a high, like I believed in myself, I believed in my future. And I was like, I'm ready, to, I'm gonna take it in 2022, It's everything's gonna happen. And then that happened and it just knocked me. Knocked you for six, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it just knocked me completely. Mm. And then, um, but what I loved at the time was the business academy had just started and we had like a community it was like a family <coughs> yeah so even though i was feeling low i had all these people around me who didn't even know everyone didn't know what was yeah. going on but there was just such support and i knew there was everyone was pushing for their success so it made me want to not sit back and go okay it's not bad it's happened it made me be like i still want to keep pushing yeah despite absolutely. this Absolutely, um, and I know I know you really struggled with that yeah. that that moment, um, and I know for them three or four months that was quite a battle, really. Yeah, January February was um, a step back. Yeah. Okay. So look, that's sad. It's very sad. Um, but you did obviously get over it to a point. Yeah, I came to the to point. tell the world in January. You came to the second I? tell the world, yeah. Because yeah. I felt like I needed it again. So to just to clar like... clarify, the first tell the world you came to was in October. Yeah. October. You joined the academy, but the academy didn't start until January. Yeah. And then you came to the end of January tell the world. Yeah. So now, end of January, your, your grandfather's passed away. Yeah. And you, you show up at tell the world again for the yeah. second time. Yeah, and that was, that was hard then, because obviously I was still going through everything. I wasn't sure if I... Were, Felt like I was ready, but I knew I needed the environment. What was the yeah. first tell the world? What was the second tell the world like compared to the first tell the world? I, I say it all the time. You go to tell the world, and it's like because you've grown so much as a person. You you say it, your hundred percent changes. Yeah. So even though like so much had changed for me, and I, it's just you kind of go and you you find yourself again. You find new obstacles in your life that you need to get over. Yeah. So in the first one, it was like I didn't believe that I could have a successful business. Yes, the I know. The second one, yeah, okay, I had personal things, but I still believed I could. So then it was like, it was new obstacles. Mm, awesome, right. So you came to Tell the World, you loved it, absolutely loved it. What would you say to anybody that thinks Tell the World is like, they you need to do You have to go to Tell the World. Every, every single person needs to go to Tell the World. I, and if you think you don't need to, then, then that's you. You need even need, more. You definitely yeah. need to go. Oh, and, I... and no one's gonna tell you what happens. But you should go and experience it for yourself. And if you go and play 100%, you'll be a different person. Because you weren't told what happens. When you signed up for Tell the World, that was before you joined the training program. Yeah. And that, that took an investment in itself. Yeah. And you signed up for Tell the World without even even knowing what happened at Tell the World. Yeah, and as a negative person, I really it was like a little battle with myself thinking, everyone's saying it's really good and everyone everyone I spoke to was like, you need to go, it's life changing. It'll change everything for you. And, and my negative voices were going, I don't see how. I don't yeah, see how it's yeah. gonna change my life. Well, what was your feeling towards me doing Tell the World? I did not like you one bit. I really didn't. I always say if looks could kill, you would not do another Tell the World. <laughs> I did not like you at all because, and even throughout the whole mentorship, there's been times that I haven't liked you because you- <laughs> yeah, I love that. You, and I say people should have a mentor who you don't like all the time because if you're being pushed out your comfort zone, you're not going to be happy with it. No one enjoys in the moment yeah, exactly. being pushed, but you enjoy it so much afterwards. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because I always push you. Yeah. Literally, I always push you. All right, okay, so you've done Tell the World, you loved it. Yeah. January, February, March, we're doing, we're doing business training and I'm, I'm working with you on a one-to-one -one basis. Yeah. Um, all right, talk to me about this, talk about some of these property deals. Um, you started getting some deals. Yeah. Um, tell me how some of them happened and come about. What was the situation there? We, uh, you're focused on rent to rent service accommodation, yeah. so what's the situation there? So, I basically, once I believed in myself, then it was like, okay, I, I need to start working. I need to go and find these property deals. I need to, I think prior to that, I'd maybe been sending like a few messages. Yes, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. I realized, okay, <laughs> if you want this, you need to go and get it and you need See, to- See, you're sending a few getting. messages, you're playing small. Yeah. Uh, tell the world allowed you to play big. Exactly, yeah. Because I, I knew what could come if I put, and I wanted to know. I, I went to tell the world, and when I left, I wanted to know that 
even if it didn't work, because there's still that tiny little negative voice in your head, I needed to know that I gave it 110%. Yeah. Like, I put everything into it. That's why I say that to all my students. Listen, if you're giving it your 110% and it's still not working for you, then how can we fix that and how can we help that? But the, the reality is most people aren't given 100%. That's the reality. And before Tell the World, you weren't. No. You were playing small. You were yeah. given 10%, 15%. Yeah, because before Tell the World, I was still thinking maybe I'll go back to a job. There you are. Because Absolutely. It, it, you're, you're still doubting it. So I think I was just taking myself out of the game. Mm -hmm. Constantly. Yeah. All right. So you start getting some property deals. Uh, yeah. You start creating some passive income. Yeah. Um, what's life looking for you around the middle of this year? So, because March is when I have my one-to-one -one with you. So I feel oh, like we'll for get me, there. March we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll okay, get what, there. What month are we on? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter what month we're on. But you started to get some property deals. Yeah. And then, we had, then we had a one-to-one -one in March. Yeah. A big one-to-one -one in March. So you had the first one at the start of the year and then we had another one in March, yeah. okay? From January to March, first one-to-one -to, -one to second one-to-one, -one, you got a couple of rent-to-rent -rent deals. Yeah. And you're, you're now making, how much were you making from them rent-to-rent -rent deals? Uh, so they're making about, each one was making about 800. So now, right. you, now you and, and you're, you're on about 1,600 pounds. Yeah. Um, and you're, you're in partnership with somebody at the minute. Yeah. You're in a business with somebody else at the minute, okay? Um, all right, the one-to-one -one in London. Oh you guys God. have probably heard about this story. We, we had a one-to-one. Uh, you booked a one-to-one -one and we went for a morning breakfast. We, yeah. I met you in central London, in Leicester Square. We went to a cafe for breakfast at a 10 o'clock meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, and I remember going to the meeting and I was like, okay, so... Interesting. I want to know something before you speak. Why? What were you expecting from that meeting? So I just set up the, my company. <coughs> I just yep. set up EM Stays. So I was going to figure out, okay... How, how am I going to do this? Like, where am I going with it? Kind of. All I wanted from you that day was mm -hmm. not a business plan, but like a like a goal set and where is the, the year going to go? Yeah. That's all that. Like a month by month, yeah. do this, do this. Okay, fine. These are the steps you need to take, Helen, to grow the business. All right. So we met up for breakfast yeah. um, and we started chatting about your business. Yeah. And I wasn't really interested in what's happening down there. Yeah. I was more interested in what's happening here, yeah. behind and what's happening right now. Because I cannot give you a plan going forward until I know where you're at. Mm -hmm. It's like a GPS. You get in your car, you set your GPS to Manchester, but the first thing it has to ask you is where you're at. Yeah. It has to work out where you're at in life. And you didn't like them conversations. No. <clears throat> because no, I was no. I was turning over some stones that you didn't want un yeah. uh, unturned um, or turned over. All right, okay, so we started chatting um, and we actually started looking at all your portfolio and all your incomes and outgoings and we started analysing all the stuff and actually this one-to-one, -one, which was only supposed to last an hour, ended up lasting <laughs> quite a few more hours than it should have done. Yeah. Um, and what was the result? As, as a result of the one-to-one, -one, our meeting, our sitting down discussing, I we decided between us, yeah. I was a little bit more forceful than you were, yeah. but we decided that actually you need to offload some properties. Yeah, because I'd put mine all <coughs> over the place as well, had not I? I'd done all about. The biggest problem you had is you were a busy fool. Yeah. You had a property up there, a property down here, a property over there, a property over there. And you were trying to manage everything and it meant you were doing more mileage in your car than I'd seen anybody. You were working more hours than, than financial independence you'd ever give anybody. Yeah. And it just like now you're like, I'm like, what the heck are you doing, man? Because at that point as well, I don't know if it's it's probably from working and like studying and the, the whole education system. In my head, the more work I was doing... The that's the definition of an idiot. Yeah, that's the definition of an idiot. I, I understand that, yeah. right? But you were going through the whole the whole mantra Jeez. of, um, oh, if I'm working hard yeah. and I'm busy, I must be making money. But the reality was, you were working hard, yeah. you just weren't making enough money. And I saw so many gaps in your your income and also yeah. in what you were doing. Like there's so many spaces and so many gaps. And this one meeting that we had <laughs> paid for your academy. Yeah. At least double. Yeah. And actually, no, it paid for your academy five times over. Yeah. Initially, it paid for double. And yeah. What followed? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So we tidied up your business. Yeah. And I said you have to get rid of two properties. Yeah. So we decided to get rid of a property in York. No, Where Chester and Cumbria. All right, Chester and Cumbria. Yeah. Okay. Now she had a property in Cumbria that was working very well for contractors. Yeah. But it was it was miles away and. Yeah, it, just, it wasn't. It wasn't in the plan. Yeah. 
I mean, you had one in Chester, again, was nowhere near where any other properties were, no. and it wasn't congruent to what you wanted to do. So we made the decision that day to get rid of both of them. Yeah. And the way we were going to do that was we were going to sell them on as a source deal to a private investor. Yeah. So I uh, got my laptop out, and as a student of mine, um, under the package that Ellen purchased, uh, invested in with my training, um, she was entitled to 100% return on investment. And for those watching this, uh, what that means is if you invest in training with me, in 2022 when Ellen signed up, or 2021 when Ellen signed up, yeah. the package Ellen got was meant she could get all of her money back from my training through property sourcing. So <clears throat> I um, sent an email out yeah. to my database of investors. I still remember though, you know when you were, you were saying it to me, you are like, Ellen, we're gonna sell. And you, it just, everything in business just seems so simple when you say it, but in my head, I'm one of those people who <laughs> overthinks. Yeah, so that's you your say, biggest problem. It is, isn't it? Yeah. You go, this is what we're going to do, Ellen, and my head's gone, here's seven problems that are going to recur, and here's this, that, and the other. And even then, I was like, okay, you're going to send it out, but is anyone going to respond? And it's stupid, because I knew your list. Yeah. I knew you had those investors, but it's still at the, ta at the time. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Had that. Listen, you don't well. see it until you see it. Yeah. And it's very difficult to believe it until you see it. All right, so um, we literally sat in this cafe writing an email. I got my laptop out and I wrote an email and I said, all right, tell me all about them. I wrote an email, boom, sent an email. Yeah. Then what happened? Oh, then you started <coughs> getting the messages in my about phone. the property. Just ping, ping, yeah. ping, 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 ping. Look, while I'm on the phone right now, we've just um, secured another deal. Here Look at that. Go. Doesn't say, but um, one of the investors has signed the contract for the new deal, Happy Days, like, and that's just now, and I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm speaking to you guys, right? But my point being is, um, I sent an email out, my phone went crazy, yeah. and suddenly you're starting to now start, you, I mean, I've not made any money for you yet, there's no money being made yeah, yet, but, it was just but now suddenly it. you're starting to see, actually, people do actually respond. Yeah, people actually buy the deal. <laughs> um, and we put your deals out at £8,000 per deal because yep. they were fully furnished, ready to go, ready to set up, read, literally running with yep. advanced bookings. How long did it take for the first investor to pay? You rang them and the money was over. At the end of the call, the money was over however quickly it takes to, for them to open the bank and send it. Yeah, you're talking... Like a couple of minutes, like it wasn't... So from us sending an email, the... us sending an email around 11, 11 30, 12 o'clock, yep. I then we then sent the email and I said, all right, let's go for a let's go for a, a, a wander. So we went for a walk, and um, we then went to another place and we, we uh, sat down. And then within us ten minutes of sitting down, my phone started ring. Uh, my phone started getting text messages. I picked the phone up, I phoned them, and I sold them on Ellen's behalf. Um, and then we sent an invoice. Literally within a matter of two hours, maybe three hours maximum, from us sending an email, money was in your bank. Yeah. And how much money was in your bank? How much money did you leave that day extra with? £16,000. So two deals, £8,000 £8, each, and they sold. Yeah. And what did that feel like, seeing that actually, oh. frickin' heck, this is actually possible? It was, I, I always say now, when people ask me about it, I'm like, £16,000, it's massive. It, it was it was massive <coughs> to me, like, but it's not even, it wasn't even the money, it was seeing what had happened. That day when I saw that, I felt like you told me about sourcing, I've been doing sourcing, but it was like you'd opened up what my future really could be like with yeah. sourcing. <coughs> Absolutely. Uh, and I introduced you to a few investors um, and one of them investors went out to view your property. Yeah. Was that the one in Chester or the one in Barrow? Barrow. Right, he went up to view your uh, property in Barrow. And what did, what, did, what did that investor then ask you to do? He asked me to find four more deals. So he asked you to find four more deals yeah. and how much was that worth to you? So that's what, 32,000. Yeah, so an additional 32,000 pounds. Yeah. So not only did you make 16 on the day we spent together, you <laughs> meant you then got a, an agreed contract for 32,000 yeah. pounds, which gives you a total income, not profit income, of 48,000 pounds for within that period of time, within a month. Within a month. <clears throat> so within a month of my, um, that one-to-one -one meeting, <laughs> you've now got sales agreed at 48,000 pounds. Yeah. Now it's not all profit. Um, you've got probably, I would say, what, 15 grand of costs to come off yeah, of Yeah, I got my staging costs. Yeah, yeah, 15 costs, 15K worth of costs. So anyway, it's still a very good profit. We yeah. do not agree. <laughs> yeah. Like 30K profit out of that, yeah. it's pretty yeah. handsome. Uh, yeah. Like that's a year's salary for you. Yeah, that's what's crazy because when I went out to teach, when, when it was 40K, I was like 40 grand. 
Like, I'm going to be loaded tax free. And then you look at that and that's like one contract. Two contracts. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. All right, let's fast forward then. Okay, so that's the first, that was a great one-to-one. -one. You implemented, <laughs> you fulfilled, you delivered, you made sure everything got, everyone got what they paid for. Yeah. Um, and then you started just going absolutely crazy. Yeah. Like so far, like as, as we sit here filming this, uh, December 2022, how many properties have you packaged and sold up this year? Oh, I don't know the exact number. You're gonna have a go at me for that. You told me the other day. Um, no, I do know the number, it's 15 rent to rent. So 15, yeah. 15 properties have been packaged and sold yeah. and you've generated an income, how much? 147,000 pounds. 147,000 pound in income. So you started this year with 1,100 pound in your bank. Yeah. Because I remember you came to see me in March, yeah. you had 1,100 pound in your bank. And so far this year, you've generated sales in excess of 147,000 pounds. Yeah. You've become a much stronger, much more independent woman. Yeah. You've split ties with your business partner and you've gone on your own. Yeah. Right? You've become a phenomenal, empowering woman in business. You've spoke on stage. Yeah. You've spoke internationally on stage. Um, I, I asked you to join me in Vietnam. What was that like? game changer it was the fact that there were so many things to it. it was the fact that i was actually able to say yes when you asked me explain that hey, listen you're watching this because you want to get in property and you want choice in your life explain that because you said ellen i'm going to vietnam like do you want to come basically speak on stage inspire people and i i just said yes i said yes you didn't question away. it you were like yep like, i'm in yeah. You're like, the flights are this much. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't care. I'm coming. Yeah. And it's the fact that my business, I have my rent to rent that were making me the money. So yeah. I didn't need to worry about it whilst I was there. So I could pay to go there and I had the freedom to be able to actually go. See the and thing, that's what, oh, it's, you, it's awesome, isn't it? Because yeah. what you do is you use sourcing as and when you need it to yeah. bring more money in. Cause you've got the rent to rent still making you Whatever, a couple of grand a month, three grand a month, whatever, I don't know. What they're making you the rent to rent So software. they were about 800 each. So when we went to Vietnam, I had four. So. Okay, so about 3,200 pounds, yeah. right? Coming in for your rent rents, happy days, right? And then you use sourcing and you sourced business and you only really, you don't do sell bespoke, to, yeah. you don't sell to a main middle list. Yeah. You only work with bespoke clients. Yeah. And what's your biggest problem you have today? I've got too many people who want to come on bespoke. You've got too many clients? Yeah. Well, look at that for a problem. It's not about too many deals, it's about too many clients. Which is crazy. So you've got too many people saying, Ellen, there's my money. Yeah. I'm gonna pay you up front, help me. Yeah. Now, do you know what you need to do? What? Put your prices up. Yeah, I do actually. Supply <laughs> and demand. Yeah. You're the commodity, you're the expert. If they want your services because you provide an A1 class, yeah. class A1 service, they've got to pay for it. Yeah, put yeah. your money up. Next year, 2020 year, 2022, put your money up. Okay. Right, because at the end of the day, what you bring to the table is ama amazing. Yeah, uh, it's very amazing what you bring to the table. Um, and the reality is this: like you come to Vietnam because your business allowed that to happen, yeah. and you sat across the table from a billionaire. Yeah. Like you see, when I do things, I do things properly. Right. One of my uh, business partners out in Vietnam, they're one of the wealthiest families in Vietnam. They're a very super successful, very amazing family. They've got 25 businesses. Uh, which is just one of their businesses makes eight million pounds uh, uh, um, a year profit, but they've got 25. They build infrastructures, they build airports, they build railway systems. They are an amazing family, but they also run a very, very successful education business. And we are part of that. Um, and you got the opportunity to speak uh, out there in front of hundreds and hundreds of people. And what was that like for you? That for me, I think it, I knew I wanted to go out there and inspire people that I knew that's what I wanted to do, but actually kind of seeing it and having people say to me, like your stories really inspired me. And yeah. It, it just made, it, want, it made me want to be even more successful. Yeah, absolutely. To help more people and be able to always say yes to every opportunity that comes my way. Yeah. And that was only a couple of months ago. And I know you've been speaking to some of the people you met out there. Yeah. yeah. They've been messaging you, getting help and things like that, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and one thing that I love is you're a, you're somebody that says yes to every opportunity, yeah. everything. And you never question it. You're like, yeah, I'm in, I'm doing it. And, and this year for you, like you're finishing the year as a six figure earner, yeah. right? It's just, it's, Freaking amazing, it really is. Like, what you've done this year, you've become this powerhouse. You've become this woman to be taken seriously. Yeah. At the start of the year, you were negative, you were depressed, you yeah. were down, you were anxious, you were struggling day to day. Yeah. And now you've still got some struggles, don't yeah. get me wrong. 
What's your biggest struggle you're dealing with right now? What's my biggest struggle I'm not dealing with right now? Yeah, what's the biggest issue you've got in your business right now that you're trying to deal with? Organisation. Organisation. <laughs> I wonder where you're going with that. Organisation is <clears throat> my worst one. So the biggest problem you've got in your business right now is it's growing, it's growing at a... Sp- it, it went it, too quick. It's gone too quick. I didn't expect it to go that And you're quick. busy. You're busy. You're all over yeah. the place. Busy. You're trying to keep your... And, and she's keeping everyone happy. Yeah. Everyone's happy, but you're getting run down by it. Yeah, because... So now what we need to do is we need to put systems in place yeah. to help your business. And that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Because I didn't expect it to grow so quickly. So everything happened and there's so many different sides to it that you're like, this is growing and this part of the business is growing. So how do I focus on it? All at once. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so all we need to do with you is put some systems in place yeah. because you've gone from a, a year, like a standard start of zero at the start of the year, well, £1,100 in your bank, to finish in the year, made a total of £147,000, <laughs> completely transformed your life. Yeah. How's, um, how's mum and dad feel about it? It was when I told my dad, like, I, I remember ringing my dad in the car and I was like, I've just hit six figures. And I... You can you know, you just hear how proud someone is of you. Explain a little bit of the background um, with your dad, because your dad was a business business owner. Yeah, so my dad owned his own business. Um, and what did he do? So my dad was a bookie. He was a bookie? Yeah, he was okay. a bookie. Um, so I grew up with like... The hustle. Yeah, the, the hustle, hustle, seeing yeah. that he'd always done that, seeing yeah. his drive and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> and then unfortunately my dad got sick five years ago. He had a brain mm-hmm. hemorrhage and it obviously changed everything and it's one of the reasons now why I think passive income is actually so important yeah because people think oh I need to work and I need to I'm so secure and working in my job but when you've not got that wealth that's coming without you working Mm -hmm. then when you stop working it changes everything so I've watched my dad work and work and work to like support me and support the family and I'm doing that to help them yeah so when I rang him and when he said to me, he was so proud of me. Yeah. It was like, to me, that was like, I've made it. It wasn't, it yeah. wasn't a money figure. It was my dad saying like, he was proud of me. Yeah, I've never actually met your dad. No, you haven't. I think we need to. <laughs> you can meet my dad. I think we need to. I think we really need to because um, I know that was a big moment for you. I really do. Um, and I know because obviously um, your dad losing his business and things like that was a big thing for you. I know it's a yeah. massive thing for you. Um, and <clears throat> it's, you know, there's more to making money than just, like, it's not just about you. You're doing this to help your parents. Yeah. Massively. Because they've done so much yeah. for me. They, they've sacrificed so much for me to be here. And they've, you know, always supported me. They've always, my, my dad specifically always pushed me to be the best version of myself and to go out there and just, like, take life as it is type yeah. thing. So that's why. It would be, um, it'd be great to meet your dad and just to see, uh, see what he's got to say about this whole situation. Because at the start of the year, you were... Uh, uh, what can we say? At the start of the year, you were not you. You, you weren't this. You weren't. No, you were not I'd, this I'd, person. I'd lost myself. I'd lost. I completely <clears> lost <throat> myself. I wasn't happy at all. Yeah. Like that was the biggest thing for me. I, I wasn't. Ha- I took the risk in learning property, but I wasn't yeah. enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Look. I don't know what to say, guys. Like, listen. I am doing what I do because I want to change lives and this is what I want to I want to create. I want to take you from where you're at right now to where you want to be in 12 months and this is who you can become. Like Ellen came to me with zero property knowledge, zero investors, zero database, zero deals and not much money. I know you came to me and you invested in training, you had the money, you had to find the money to make that happen and you did, you, you scrimped and you saved and you, you made that sacrifice but do you think it was worth it? Oh, completely worth it. <laughs> so worth it. It's not... It's the Business Academy all this year. It's not, it's, I've made a lot of money yeah. and I've got a growing business, but it's the community. It's but explain the community because I get a lot of people come to me and say, I want, I want, a lot of people join my training from my environment that yeah. I've created. What's it like? The, the, there's, no, there's no other environment like that because there's so many different aspects to it. There's you as like a <coughs> mentor who actually cares and you know us all. And because of that, I think we all know each other so well. I know every person in that academy and I know they know everyone else as well. And yeah. you can, if there's any, ever a problem, there's always someone you can call on. It's a community of winners who are supporting each other. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't think anyone else has a community that cares and supports as much as this. You don't think, I know they don't. They don't, yeah. it's, it's a family. It's like, it's a yeah. family. Yeah, absolutely. All right, listen, 
I want to help you next. I've done my stuff with Ellen, right? We're working together on a very close level now. Um, but I've, I've, uh, you know, I've set her up, right? I've helped her on her way. She's had to do the work, but I've definitely given her a leg up, okay? And I want to give you a leg up. And that starts at the Property Accelerator. So there's a link below. It's one pound. Come along, spend the day with me, learn exactly the three strategies you need to do in order to get to 10,000 pound a month. And you can become the next six figure earner and you can be sat in this chair this time next year because below and throughout this video, you're gonna see images of, er of Ellen throughout the year and you can see the progression. This lady has become a rock star and her future is super bright, super bright. So what would you say to people watching this right now? Now's the chance to change your life. And if you've got any doubts, if you've got any, you know, anything that's trying to, any resistance that's stopping you, just don't listen to it. Look at what you've done, look at everyone you've worked with and just think that could be you. If you want to change your life, just go and do it. Get the training. You won't regret it. It's one pound. Link is below. Need I say any more?